All the images you see were created using just a few simple text prompts with Leonardo.ai. It's hard to believe, isn't it? Leonardo.ai, comparable to leaders like Midjourney, offers various trained models. With its user-friendly interface, it's a suitable AI image generator for artists, designers, developers, and more. In this video, I'll teach you how to generate images using the text-to-image and image-to-image -image features of Leonardo.ai. We'll also explore practical examples like designing logos, stickers, and icons using this artificial intelligence. Iman Global YouTube Channel Let's head over to the website Leonardo.ai without any delay. We'll create a free account and then access our dashboard. At the top section, you'll see train models for generating images. It's explained which model performs better for specific subjects. By clicking on them, a page opens where you can even view images generated using that model. You can even click on the Generate with this model button to choose and set it up for generating images. A bit further down, you can explore a vast gallery of beautifully generated images by Leonardo.ai. Clicking on each image opens a new page displaying important information like the prompt used and the generating model. You can even copy the prompt related to a particular image and use it to generate a new image with that prompt. Even in the free plan, Leonardo.ai provides a substantial amount of credits for generating images, which replenishes every 8 hours. Clicking on AI image generation takes us to the image generation section. Here, you can see the images I previously generated. At the top of the page, there's a text box for entering prompts. A bit below that, there's a drop-down list to select the model that will generate based on the prompt. For instance, I'll paste the prompt that I prepared earlier into the text box. Now, I'll select the Dream Shaper V7 model from the drop-down list, which is one of the new models. From the left-hand menu in the Number of Images section, I'll choose how many images I want to generate each time. A bit further down, in the Image Dimensions section, there's an option to set the image dimensions. We can select one of the preset dimensions you see or manually adjust them using sliders. Additionally, there's an option to control the aspect ratio from a drop-down list. Afterward, I'll click on the Generate button to see the result of this prompt. The images are generated. By clicking on any of them, we can review the images. Now, let's change the generating model for this same prompt and see how the results differ in another model. For this purpose, I'll select the 3D animation style option from the fine-tuned model drop-down list. And now, I'll click the generate button. Let's review the images. After clicking on the remove background button in the drop-down list, a new option becomes available. In this mode, we can view both the original image and the image with the background removed. Look, you have easy access to both versions here. This button also provides the option to upscale the image. After clicking, another option will be added to the drop-down list, allowing us to view the upscaled version of the image. Even the version with the removed background is available right here. By using the download button, we can also get the generated images for free. Let's review the downloaded version as well. There are important technical points in the image to image section that I'll gradually explain to you. Scroll down on the left panel and you'll see the option image to image. If this section is inactive, go slightly higher and disable the prompt magic option. Now, the image to image option is active. By clicking on the upload button, I'll select and upload a desired image from my computer. Take a look at the image I've chosen. After uploading the image, we can use prompts to transform it in various ways. I'll write a prompt to give the original image a slight 3D style and a touch of retouching to the face. Among the models in the drop-down list of fine-tuned models, I'll select the Dream Shaper V7 model. In the left-hand menu, the number of images is set to 2. Now, I'll click on the Generate button. Images with a 3D style based on my original image are created, but they don't resemble the original image much. So, what should I do to make the new images resemble my original image? Here, we have a critical parameter called init strength, which, when increased, preserves the original image's characteristics. Let's adjust this value slightly upward and observe its impact on the next generated image. Now, I'll click the generate button. The images are produced, and as you can observe, the newly generated images bear a stronger resemblance to the original image. Let's now decrease the init strength and see the outcome. 
the new images will show less resemblance to the original image, emphasizing the greater influence of the prompt in image generation. Here's an interesting experiment. Let's set the init strength to its maximum value. What do you anticipate will occur? Images are generated, and in this scenario, there is the highest possible resemblance between the generated images and the original ones. In another tutorial, I'll reveal the secrets of image to image, so be sure to subscribe to avoid missing out on the next tutorial. In this stage, I'll guide you through creating a sticker using Leonardo.ai. We have a simple prompt for creating a cat sticker, which I'll paste into the text box. I'll set the Dream Shaper V7 model from the drop-down list of fine-tuned models, which is one of the latest models. Now I'll click the Generate button. The stickers are generated. I'll review them and select one. By clicking the Remove Background option, the background is removed from the selected sticker. Then, in the drop-down list, we have access to both versions of this sticker. I'll choose the version without the background and download it. As you can see, I now have a sticker in PNG format. Can Leonardo.ai assist us with logo design? The answer is yes. Let's explore a case. I'll paste a prompt related to logo design into the text box. The fine-tune model option is set to Dream Shaper V7. Now I'll click the Generate button. The images are generated. We have some great logo design ideas here, don't we? Allow me to paste a new prompt for logo design into the text box. With this prompt, the system will generate a collection of logos for me to choose from. Let's see the results. Using this method and inputting various prompts, you can gather brilliant ideas for logo design across all professional fields from Leonardo.ai. Let's see Leonardo.ai's capability in creating intricate logos with another example. I'll paste another prompt for this purpose in the text box. I'll choose the Dream Shaper V7 option from the drop-down list of fine-tuned models. From the left-hand menu in the Number of Images section, I've set the image count to 2. In the Image Dimensions section, I've selected the preset 1024 to 768. And in the Aspect Ratio section, I've chosen the 16 to 9 option. Now, I'll click the Generate button. Let's review the logos together. Do you agree that with these images, Leonardo.ai serves as an assistant and a source of inspiration in logo design? Leonardo.ai can also serve as an inspirational tool and be useful in icon design. Let's explore this with an example. I'll paste a prompt related to icon design into the text box. Since it's a new model, I'll choose the Dream Shaper V7 option from the drop-down list of fine-tuned models. For image dimensions, I'll set it to 1024 to 768 in the image dimensions section and choose a 16 to 9 aspect ratio in the aspect ratio section. In this drop-down list, I'll select the None option. Now, I'll click the Generate button. As you can see in these images, Leonardo.ai can be a great help in icon design as well. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask, I'll respond promptly. A new tutorial for Leonardo.ai will be added to the channel soon, so make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next tutorial. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Iman Global YouTube Channel